Over the last few weeks, ChatGPT has really exploded. People have been using it all over Twitter or LinkedIn and basically every social media outlet to answer their most exciting questions. ChatGPT is quite an exciting technology. And in this video, we'll be looking at the creator of ChatGPT, which is OpenAI. And we'll be using a GPT-3 REST API and a DALI REST API to generate AI-based content. One of our great steppers, Victor, he created an example of using StepSend together with OpenAI. This allows you to build a GraphQL API for text and image processing using OpenAI tools. OpenAI is most familiar for, for example, ChatGPT, a service they launched a couple of weeks back. With ChatGPT, you can get answers based on AI on all your questions. You can even let ChatGPT rewrite pieces of text for you. At OpenAI, they also have two other REST APIs that help you create AI solutions. One REST API is letting you create text based on existing text. So this is the text processing part of this example. Then they also have Dolly, which is built for image processing. With Dolly, you can just provide a string or a description and Dolly will generate a image based on this description. On this great blog post, you can also find an example on the steps and examples repo. If you would click it, it will bring you to GitHub and more specifically the directory containing the OpenAI example. In this example, you can find the steps and GraphQL schema and you can also find the setup instructions in the readme. I've already copied this example to a VS Code project. In here you can find I have the GraphQL files and I also have an environment.sample file. You need to copy this file into a actual.environment file and add your OpenAI API key there. If you would go to the website of OpenAI, you can easily uh, get your free API key just by going to the website and, registration, and register over there. So registration is free, so you don't have to worry about adding any credit card details. I already created my .environment file, as you can see here, which means that I'm running, ready to deploy this GraphQL API to StepSense Cloud by running StepSense Start. This will take the GraphQL files I have in these directories and deploy them to StepSense Cloud and make a production-ready endpoint available to me. You can see you can use a curl to query this GraphQL endpoint, or you can also reuse one of the newer features we added to Stepsen, which is the Stepsen request command. So the Stepsen request command is a piece of the latest version of the Stepsen CLI. If you would open up a new terminal, you can just run Stepsen request there and then provide a query that's provide a query that can be run by Stepsen. As you can see, there's a sample query right here, so we could already use this query to query our steps in GraphQL API. But of course, we like to use a query that is more relevant. So if we would go into our schema, let's start with text completion, we can see there is a text completion endpoint. You can just take this query, which you can open like this. You need to open quotes, and within the quotes, you can add the GraphQL query. In my GraphQL schema, I can find a query that is called text completion. And this will help you to create completion of text, of course, uh, using chat GPT or more specifically GPT-3. So let me write down text completion, which is the name of the query. Uh, it needs one parameter that is uh, required, which is the prompt. And a prompt is whatever you want GPT-3 to do for you. I can say prompt. And then I could do, uh, this is something we will do in later on. So write me a limerick. So this is what ChatGPT will be doing later on in this example for one of the more recent steps and blog posts. Uh, and then I need to provide my uh, return, my response, which will be text completion, uh, which will be choices and then the text field. So choices, text, Text. And maybe I need another curly brackets for closure, just like this. Let me see if this runs. I see I made a small spelling mistake. It is completion. Completion. Like 
like this. And this will run this GraphQL query, which will generate a limerick for me. The once was a girl from St. Louis who liked to sip tea in a boudoir. She'd drink every day, but her tea sipping ways made her spin in a whirlpool. Quite a nice limerick, so I'd say. Uh, what we'll be doing for the remainder of this example, we'll be using the same capabilities to regenerate a limerick using GPT-3 to generate limericks based on the content of the more recent Stepsend uh, blog post. For this, again, we'll be, be using Stepsend request. And this time we'll be opening the index.graphql file in block, which has a query called feed. Which is loading the most recent steps on blog post from our uh, RSS feed. And we only need to provide a limit. So let's say limit is one just for now. And then we can return the same thing. So we can return the blog post information. Uh, so let's get the title for the blog post and then continue by getting its summary. And to find out its summary, you have to go to the extension. So here we extended the blog post we generated from the RSS feed. Uh, with some extra information. Uh, and the summary is our text completion type that we just saw for the text completion query. What I do here is write down summary, and then I can use choices and text, pretty similar to what we just done. Let me see, once I run this, it should pull the uh, most recent blog post from the step send blog and then generate the limerick based on the content. So what we also released in December was the announcement of GraphQL subscriptions for every data source. And as you can see, it created a limerick based on the contents of this blog post. So GraphQL subscriptions are treat and step sends new feature you can beat. REST APIs and databases is declarative like queries and mutations. And your app can get new data. Need. Such a nice limerick, won't you say? Generated based on the contents of the most recent Steps and blog post. And there's much more you can build with Steps and AI. And actually, we're going to be having a look at another API example. Something else I can do here is also generate an image based on a query I provide. I won't be running the query to get a image based on something random. Instead, we will be extending the example we just created. And we also will be getting a image here. So instead of getting the summary, we also want to get a image. And for image, we want to get its URL because that way we can actually view the image. So not only will it use uh, chat GPT, I think I need to add something else. Let me figure out image generation. Uh, I need to add data here as well. We say so this is data if i run this it will also run a uh, request to dolly to generate a image based on the description of the blog post and just as a warning these can look quite funky as dolly is quite impressionistic if i copy this url i need to go to a browser so this is the image that ChatGPT, uh, actually not ChatGPT, but Dolly generated for us based on the contents of the blog post announcing GraphQL subscriptions. As you can see, it is subscribing to something. It's a pencil, and as I said, it's quite artistic. And this is just one of the many examples of cool things you can build with Steps and AI. I would really love to know what you see as a use case for using GraphQL together with AI for exposing existing REST APIs, for example, like the ones from OpenAI.